Hey guys, this is part two to facts about my Lionhead Cross Rabbit Sandy's personality. Number one, Sandy does not like being picked up. This was established by the previous owners right away. We wouldn't pick her up without reason. It's really just for the vet. Not all rabbits are like this. Some rabbits are trained from an early age to be picked up. Number two, she has a thing for sofas. She usually goes on the sofa every day, typically in the evening, but sometimes early in the morning. Often for her to go on the sofa earlier in, in the day, as in the daytime, someone has to be on the sofa first. While most rabbits would probably choose sofas, I could be wrong with this, but I don't think every rabbit goes on the sofa every day the way she does. She goes on the sofa every day. She always makes it clear that she's interested in our food by trying to eat it, but she eventually gives up and accepts it. An example of this would be when we were watching a movie about plants and Sandy kept running around the sofa because we had popcorn nearby, but she eventually gave up, or in the footage right now where she is visibly interested in a cinnamon roll. The sofa is where all these food situations take place. Number three, Sandy is vocal. In the previous video about Sandy's personality, I talked about things that may cause her to thump or nibble. What I didn't mention was the noises that she sometimes makes. It's a grunting noise. Here's a clip to show you. There was one time I was petting her on the sofa and I stopped petting her for a minute and she did that grunting noise. She does it when she's annoyed. Number four, she usually only stays in the front room of my house as the kitchen has plants which are poisonous to rabbits if consumed. This is why we have gates up to prevent her from going to not only the kitchen but the other side of the house. When she returned from her rabbit sitter's house after six weeks, she was so confused that she peed on all the beds. We have had to extend the gate so that she can't get past it. Number five, Sandy is basically cageless. What I mean by this is yes, Sandy does have a cage. However, she is outside her cage so often that her cage acts as an alternative place for her to chill out a few minutes at a time or an hour at the longest. She usually pulls all nighters. In other words, she usually sleeps outside of her cage on the sofa sometimes. Number six, Sandy is defensive. She scared off a small dog one time and would likely not be compatible with another rabbit. Number seven, Sandy thinks that the sofa is her territory as she is defensive over it than anything else. We have even had to ban her from the sofa for a week because she kept biting us. This point might come across as a contradiction to the first video about Sandy's personality. However, despite the upload date, that video was actually made in March of this year, 2022. She has gone increasingly more defensive over the sofa since then. Number eight, Sandy has been in three previous homes. She has lived with dogs and children and has been bullied by a boy rabbit to the point where she wouldn't go out of her cage, which is why she was put up for adoption in the first place, which is when we got her and why we have her at all. Number nine, if you lie down on the floor near Sandy and close your eyes, she will give you a rabbit massage. She'll groom your hair and run up and down your back. You can feel her tiny paws when she goes on your back. Thank you for watching this video and bye!